So continuing on with the learning SAS series, in this one I want to talk about if, if else, else statements inside of SAS. So I have a, a very basic little site here with three paragraphs. I've got a CSS file that I'm linked to and it's the CSS is being generated by this SAS file. What it's doing right now is simply just styling these three paragraphs. I've got a default font size being applied and I'm using some sans serif fonts. So I'm using this the native font stack and this is the default size 16 pixel but inside my CSS for the three paragraphs I'm styling each one individually number one, number two, number three and I'm using the mix-in that I'm calling big up here. So I've already got a mix-in working I'm not passing anything here. Here I'm using the parentheses, but I'm not on the first one, but it works the same way. Up here, I have a default value for this variable size, and I'm using that for the font size. So this font size is being applied to all three paragraphs. All three of them are going to be two REMs in size. So that's what we have right now. Now, using an if statement, so if, if else, else, any, any one of those, we can do that inside of a mix-in, we can do it inside of a function, or we can do it just right here inside of the body. It doesn't matter where we use it, but I'm going to do it inside of a mix-in just because it's convenient to demonstrate. Now, inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to already pass in different sizes. So if I don't pass anything in, 2REM gets used. If I pass in say 3 REM, that'll get used. If I pass in 1 REM, that gets used. There we go. So you can see that this is working, the mix-in is running. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in a second value. So let's put 3 REM for the first, 2 for the second, 1 for the third, and then I'm going to pass in this second value. We're going to call it up and I'm going to set a default value of null. So if basically if I'm not passing anything in, null is going to be the value of up. So here I'm not going to pass anything in. For this one, I'm going to pass in true and for this one I'm going to pass in false. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this up value and I'm going to say this represents whether I want it to be upside down or not. So at if, then I'm going to look at the variable up and say, if that is null, meaning I haven't passed anything in, this is the CSS that I want to use. Now I can write at else if, and then take a look at the value and say, if it's true, I'm going to do this. At else, I'm going to do this. Now you can also write it like this. You can space it out to make it a little bit easier to read if you want. So in here I'm not passing anything in. Here I'm passing true. Here I'm passing false. So we've got these three values going in. So let's write the CSS for those three values. We're going to use a transform and I'm going to do a rotate. If it's null I'm going to say let's do a slight rotation. If it's going to be true. So upside down true, we'll do a rotation of 180 degrees and we'll do a rotation of zero degrees if it is false being passed in. So the first paragraph here, we're not passing a value, we should get the two. Second one is true, we should get upside down and the third one false, we should get no rotation whatsoever. There we are. So the two degrees on the first one, upside down on the second, nothing on the third. And that's it. So you don't have to do all three of these. You can do just the if, you can do an if and an else, or you can do the combination, or you can have a whole bunch of else ifs in the middle. But the spacing is important that we have to have it set up like this. That's all you have to do for an if else statement in SAS. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.